Yes, good morning. Welcome. I'm certainly glad you took your time to come out this morning and, and to be here at the Bermuda Cricket Board. And on behalf of our president, Mr. Reginald Pearman, uh, again, I want to say thank you. I've recently had the opportunity to um, attend the ICC conference in Hong Kong, and um, there was a few things that actually stood out at that meeting. And one, I would very much like to say and inform the Bermuda public, particularly the Bermuda cricketing public, I thought Mr. Neil Spade, our CEO, who is the chairman of the associate and affiliate countries, uh, during the informal meeting with about 90 of the affiliate and associate countries, um, he handled the meeting extremely well as the chairperson. As you may know, that um, there was a decision that um, only the test playing countries would be allowed to play in the next World Cup. That certainly didn't bode too well with the affiliates and the associates, and they certainly made their feelings known during the informal meeting. Um, and at that meeting, uh, under the leadership and guidance of Mr. Spate and his entire uh, committee, which was another, I think it was about four of them on that committee altogether. They have been working behind the scenes since last year in order to get this decision reversed. And at that meeting, the, the Associate of Finance was extremely irate, and in so much that they were even considering legal action if it didn't go our way. Um, after about a three hour meeting, we had the formal meeting with the ICC president, and at um, that meeting, and at that meeting, we had the opportunity, there were four countries in particular that had the opportunity to address the president personally and to suggest why we should revert back to having four teams in the associates. And I'm very proud to say the, the VP of the uh, Bermuda Cricket Board had the opportunity to speak directly to the president. Um, I don't know if my, if my speech and my plea made that much of a difference, but at the end of the day, um, the ICC uh, sort of reverted on the decision not to have um, more than 10 teams and they consented to have tw um, uh, four teams for the upcoming World Cup in 2015 I think it is and after that the associate countries and the affiliates certainly he praise on Mr. Spate and his and his committee and I thought it was uh, an historic occasion because the ICC very rarely if ever have gone back on their on their decision making processes. So there was a, it was a huge boost for us, for Bermuda, to have a voice in that and to have Mr. Spade to uh, spearhead the, the effort to get the associates back into the World Cup. And it was even made even more special by having Mr. Spade being the chairman and being the youngest ever chairman of that committee. And he was voted in, I think it was last year, for a two-year term. I'd just like to update everybody on some of the work the board has been doing in the domestic program. As many of you know, cricket balls are an integral part of the game and they're an expensive part. Unfortunately, the Australian dollar has gone up 20% over the last 12 months and it's become a, you know, a, a very expensive proposition for everybody. And the board's been very sensitive to this and very active in looking at trying to find ways to reduce the cost of domestic cricket. Um, as you know, we use the Cookaburra regulation and the club match, uh, but we have been able to secure some grey nickels balls uh, courtesy of the International Sports Shop which will be trialled this weekend and uh, I'm happy to be able to also share that we do have a different Cookaburra ball called the Senator uh, uh, which will be trialled later on in the season as well as a uh, relationship we've been with Platypus who will be providing us some balls for the domestic clubs to try out. Uh, unfortunately the ground in Bermuda is pretty harsh on the white ball and uh, one of the things that I know the executive and particularly the club reps and to be Mr. Richardson looking into whether or not it, uh, the club should consider going to uh, back to red ball cricket next year. So, yeah, and and whites as and, well. Right. Possibly. 